houses claim that the tenants in them have themselves deliberately damaged the houses and all of them. And when they come down there as well, they forgot all the burden that they've been looking since. In my mother and I've gone. And I had to families. Barbed wire. I don't think so. And you don't know when they're asking you to move out? No, I can not get any definite action. The Dublin Health Authority do their best to make Griffith Barracks palatable. But it's not suitable accommodation for whole families. Barbed wire along the walls keep out unwanted intruders and the wives oh, say their husbands. But at least it's better than this mixture of scrap heap and broken down housing. You two ladies are living in here in Griffith Park. Yes, yes, that's right. And this is uh, your Mrs. Mrs. Wall. And this is your husband. Yeah. Yes. And Mrs. Roderick. Yeah. This, this, is, your, this is your child yes. here in the family. I was staying with my mother and I was born. And I had to get out because I was considered home with 11 children. And I said my husband was staying in one bedroom. I had the other bedroom to myself and she said she wasn't getting her help. So I had to come into Griffith Barracks. Now my husband's in the army, Clancy Barracks. He stays in there. And it's costing me now 70 and 60 from last Monday, and it costs me 7 and 6 in a cafe every day for me meals. And I replied to the corporation for a house, and they sent back a letter telling me that they were considering the case for York's the area. And when the condemned areas fell, they forgotten all about me, they've been up at six. And I think this place is really like a prison in here, because we have to ring the bell when we're, go in, when we're going in, and we have to tell them when we're coming out. And we're only allowed to see our husband up to 10 o'clock at night. And uh, from now on, we were told that our husband is going to be stopped at 10 o'clock at night. And I've stayed in St. Joseph's Hospital. He has bronchitis and he's got to get up in the And I can't have him back on this other home, you know. But I was subtenant in a corporation house, you see. And my husband and myself and the child. And we were asked to leave at a corporation as the landlady was being evicted for not paying rent. So I went on to the corporation and sent me here to Griffith Barracks. I'm in Griffith Barracks on the 25th of November. My child was sent into the hospital for the simple reason is there was no fire to keep my child warm. My husband is working very late every night and he cannot see me, maybe only once in a week. I would, my child would not left back out Griffith. My child would not be left back out St. Augustine's hospital for the simple reason is that there's no fire and the conditions in Griffith Barracks is terrible. Mr. Wall, while you're wife and uh, children are in here in Griffith Barracks. Where are you living? Um, Rosie Muller. Mm. And uh, what, do you ever get in here? Are you working late? Uh, to be open late at night. And uh, sometimes I can't save you always at night. I'll be open late. And uh, I can't even see the kids in the uh, hospital. But I'll be open late. Yeah, well, this is, you're working after 10 o'clock so that uh, you're finished after the time you're allowed in here. Yes. You can't get in. can't get in. And I had a just beside the double locked gate is a gap in the barbed wire. I was told that this is how the husbands succeed in beating the curfew. Mr. Quinn, how did you get um, where you are now in a tent on the pavement? Well, I was, I was put in here by a tailor. I can't see a tailor due to circumstances. Unfortunately, and then conditions. Are